This is the first freestanding building ever constructed in this country to house the East Asian collection. The tie of East Berkeley with East Asia has been a very long one as the first institution west of the Mississippi to collect Chinese, Japanese, and Korean academic publications. For over 100 years, Berkeley has built up one of the most respected collections in Chinese, Japanese, and Korean languages outside of Asia. We envision this center to be a learning and a training center uh, for future leaders of both Asia and the United States where people understand the cultures and languages of both sides uh, through their work in the library. Uh, I can see row after row of Chinese uh, collections that are perhaps more complete and varied than many I can find in mainland China or Taiwan. Some of the collections are censored in those countries. Uh, for example, in China, uh, the books from the Cultural Revolution period are not available to the general public, but we have them here. It's, it's wonderful being in this new building. First of all, we were in desperate need of space. Back in the 80s, when I was a graduate student, many of our large collections were kept in, in storage out at Richmond. In those days, if you wanted a volume from that one of those collections, you'd have to somehow identify the particular volume you wanted, you would request it page from storage, and then you would wait two to three days for it to be delivered, sometimes only to find that it wasn't the volume you wanted, so you had to go through the process all over again. Seeing how vast and spacious and luxurious it is, is it's kind of hard to believe, to tell you the truth, that it exists and that it was built in this day and age, a day and age in which people are using libraries less and less because of the internet. And I think this will get people to use it more and more. When you're doing a graduate class and you're reading a novel from 1905 and you can show them the original book, it creates a sense of excitement that does fuel people's imaginations and minds in a way that not seeing that doesn't. And also looking at the original context of this material changes how you think about these, these works. So it's really, it's really critical. Being a campus that's comprised of almost half Asian, Asian American students and having an historical tie to China, Japan and Korea and being a university that's in the States but facing um, East Asia, it is a Pacific Rim University and the museum just puts a really bold stamp on that.